Hey guys, what's up? So in this one, we are going to be talking about how to handle logout on our backend REST API, which is powered by JWT. So normally when it comes to logout on applications, you would have like a session that you can terminate when a user clicks logout, and then they cannot be able to access other parts of the application when that session is not active. But when it comes to JWT, everything is stateless, meaning that we don't actually keep the state of the user's authentication in the application memory. So what happens is we create these access tokens and send them back to the user. So a user can use this to access any endpoint on our application. But then also we send them a refresh token. So the idea here is we should make the access token very short lived, meaning that it should be expiring really fast so that we don't actually need to have to keep track of, of this access token expiry time or when a user is using it separately. So the idea for the logout is we are going to need to find a way of blacklisting the refresh token such that at any point when the access token expires, there will be no way of refreshing it other than having to re-authenticate again. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So to start with, we are using the simple JWT module and it comes with the blacklist app. So what we want to do is we want to include this in our installed apps. So I'm going to go back to application, go back to our settings for the app. So you want to make sure you have it in your in your installed apps then after you add that you want to run migrations so i'm gonna do python manage py make migrations actually migrate so that's gonna go ahead and run all our migrations so once that's done then we can go ahead and create a view that the user will use to log out so i'm gonna go in the authentication views.py then i'll create another api view so here i'm gonna have a new class this one's gonna be called logout api view so we inherit from generics, generic API view, because we want to handle our post, because the user is going to be sending a post in order to log out. So once we have this, now we can define a few things. One will be the serializer class. So we can have serializer class. We're going to set it to logout serializer, and we're going to create this logout. We want to make sure that a user can only access this endpoint when they are logged in. So this means that we ensure that they are already logged in and we are actually practicing their refresh token. So what we do, here is we want to, to specify permissions. So we can do permission classes, then we can do permission authenticated. Permissions dot is authenticated. Okay, so once we, once we specify those, now we can handle our post. So dev post self and request. And then here, of course, we want to send everything now to the serializer. So we can have serializer equals self to serializer class. Then we want to send data, which will be in request of data as normal. And then we want to run the validations by writing is valid, raise exceptions if they are. And then we can call serializer save. This will call the create method on the blacklist model. So that should be serializer save, not save, 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 save. <laughs> okay. So once we have this and everything is fine, we can return a response to the user. So we can return. So we can send a message, but it's optional. So what you can do now is just send a status code. So status will be, yeah. So, so the status is going to be no content. So you can do status dot HTTP, HTTP, not HPPP, HTTP 204, this one. Okay. So let's go and create the serializer. Make sure we are importing it from somewhere it is. So here you can put a comma and have the seri logout serializer. And in the serializers, of course, we need to create it. So I'm gonna go down and have a class serializer. So let's import so serializer dot serializer. Once we are here, we need to specify that the user should send us a should send us a refresh token. So it's gonna be a chat field. So once we have that, now we can do the validate. So def validate. So in the validate, what we want to do, of course, it, it gets the data that the user sends. So what we want to do is we want to set this refresh token to the one that the user sends us. So we can do self.token equals address, then that's gonna be refresh. So we want to make sure this is what they're sending. So once we have that, now we can return it. So return address. And then since we called save on the view, we called save on the serializer from the view, we need to handle the save. So the dev save, get self, 
and then taxing other arguments so once we have that now we need to use the refresh token to blacklist this token so i believe we have already imported refresh token so you want to do refresh token and then you give it a token so that's gonna be yourself the token and then you want to call dot blacklist so let's make sure i'm importing refresh token up here so that will be from from rest framework import refresh token like that okay so this will be able to practice our tokens but we want to make sure that this doesn't throw an error so i'll just wrap it in a try accept and then if there is an error then we will return the error but otherwise so let's accept token error okay we want to make sure we are importing it too so i'm gonna come over here and import it from the framework simple JWT token tokens so if we can't save it then we can return self to fail and then we give it a message so we can say something like bad token okay looking good oh this should be atlas atlas because there can be many okay so once we have this we need to add it to our url so that the user can access it so i'm going to duplicate the, the login and then call it logout logout then the view has to be logout api view as view okay so let's import it make sure it's imported not sure if I, this is how we call it we want to make sure if we come here that's the name we are giving it which it is so good so at this point when we run the application so i'm gonna run it python manage py run server we need to import permissions in our view so here we can do something like from rest framework import permissions or we can import it here so if we run back the app it's gonna boot up so if I click on it and come over here, you will see that we have a logout added to our own and then we need to send a refresh. <coughs> yeah, so what happens is here you can send any refresh string. For example, if I send this, this should fail. So you will see that it needs the user to be logged in already. So we want to come over here and maybe log in a user quickly. Let's say we log in here. You will see that we get the tokens and everything. So we, you would want to send, you would want to make sure you're sending the access token in the headers. So you can come here and simulate a user login. So we have bearer here and then have the token. And now the way you access the logout API is you want to go to logout and then you need to send a refresh token. So I can come over here and then you will be saving the refresh token somewhere. So you, on the logout route, you send it through the API. So I'm going to come and replace this like this, and then you execute it. So you see that we get a 204, meaning that our view worked. Okay, so the last thing you want to do is you want to specify a message that will be sent to the user when this fails. Uh, so what happens is when we say fail, fail is going to be looking for a, a messages dictionary in our, on our serializer. So what you can do is we actually need to make this on a key. So what we, want to, what we want to do is we can define the messages here. So we can have something like default error messages. And then here we define our dictionary and now we can have our keys and then the error values. So you can have this key for the bad token and then the value will be the, the error. So here we can have token is expired or invalid. Okay, so that's how that works. If you don't want to self to fail, then you can just raise a validation error from here by using raise validation error and the view will still be able to send it to the user. Showing you what happened on our Django admin or in the database, when we run migrate, it's going to go ahead and create the blacklisted tokens and then the outstanding tokens relations. So this keeps track of all the tokens that have been blacklisted and these tables are checked every time a user is accessing a role that needs him to be logged in, meaning that if they try to use a token whose refresh was blacklisted and has expired, then it won't be able to get the resources. So one question that is remaining, you might be asking what happen what's happened with these tokens because they are only being stored. Would that be taking up a large amount of space on our, on our database? And yes, you're right. So we need a way to actually be clearing out these tokens. 
So since our access tokens are short-lived, you want to make sure actually they are. So if I can go to my settings, we should have a setting for that. So we want to make sure that when we log out, the access token can only be used for the next few minutes. So other than that, if you want to clear out all the tokens that have been saved in the database, you might set up like a cron job. So that's a process that runs after every certain time you define, and then it, it deletes out the things from the database. So the simple JWT module provides us a management command, and you can run that by, let me show you, so python manage.py. So, so you want to run it from python manage.py, then you call fresh expired tokens. So when you run this, this is gonna go ahead and delete all the ex expired tokens that have been saved in our data, the expired tokens that have been saved in all our database, and that's gonna clean it up. Let me run back the server again. So if we come to our, our admin and reload here, you will see that the token has been deleted and it's not there anymore. So that's gonna be it guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.